Congressman, is your thoughts on, on what you've heard so far? We heard very powerful evidence today in the exchange between Chairman Schiff and Ambassador Sondland uh, of evidence of high crimes and misdemeanor to include abuse of power, obstruction of Congress, uh, also uh, extortion, and also evidence uh, of bribery. Uh, powerful, uh, uncontradicted so far in all of the witnesses uh, that we have heard evidence of all of that. Congressman, uh, the, the posture from your committee on John Bolton's testimony has been that it's not necessary, that you don't want to get wrapped up in the courts for 10 to 12 months fighting over it. Did his testimony become more intriguing to you? I mean, is it your sense that Gordon Sondland has called into question the degree of Bolton's alarm or some of the testimony from <clears throat> Fiona Hill or others um, who suggested that he blew up a meeting, threw everyone out and, and was incredibly offended. Did, was Solomon suggesting, in terms of what you heard, that Bolton was well aware of this months-long extortion operation? Most relevant to us, uh, Nicole, is the fact that the president won't allow uh, Bolton or Mulvaney or Pompeo or Perry, uh, et cetera, et cetera, to testify. That tells us uh, he has a very guilty conscience. That's why he's blocking them. And we've heard from Bolton's uh, other deputies, I think that's enough, and we're not going to chase Bolton into the court. So I, and I'm going to head back uh, in because I, I hear we're going to start in just a, a minute here. Uh, but uh, I, I think, you know, you've heard uncontradicted testimony from uh, Ambassador Sondland. Uh, and I hope uh, when we go to the Republican questions uh, that they recognize this is a reset. It's time to get serious.